I could while away the hours Conferring with the flowers Consulting with the rain And my head I'd be scratching While my thoughts were busy hatching If I only had a brain Now the next couple shirts are just Things I really like This shirt is really, really old I don't even remember when I bought it It belongs in the um The rag heap or the trash But I just can't get rid of it it's it's a Godzilla shirt, and I love Godzilla, and I I can't get rid of this shirt. And then this next shirt, I just got from uh, Walmart, but I just I like it. There's a bunch of different variations of it, but you know, there you go. Expressions of Vader. I hope you can see this. It's really hard to hold these up. Okay, and then next is this. I love, love, love this shirt. And I'm trying to find a new, a new one, or um, even a, a a hoodie or a sweater or anything that has this on it. Uh, just because it's so cool, it came out when Revenge of the Sith came out, and I don't know. I'm sure, sure, most of you already know, but. It's just, this is like the kind of logo that came out for the original Return of the Jedi when it was at one time called Revenge of the Jedi. And so when Revenge of the Sith came out, they came out with like the same uh, graphic design for it. Um, but instead of saying Jedi, it said Sith, because that's the new movie that was coming out. Uh, and I don't know, I just, I can't find any anywhere to get a new one because this one's getting kind of ratty. It's heading Godzilla direction there. But... I love this shirt. Um, this video is getting kind of long, so I may split it up. Uh, but I'm just going to keep going. I don't know why this is so tiring for me. But the next is a series of shirts that I'm trying to get all of them. I just haven't gotten around to can finishing the, the set. But it is the um, all the Lantern Cores. Uh, of the Green Lantern. I haven't actually read um, Blackest Night or Brightest Day. I started Blackest Night, but I just haven't gotten around to finish it or actually I haven't gotten around to buying the rest of the comics. Um, so I do plan on finishing it. Um, but uh, which kind of ticked me off on the uh, Green Lantern animated series that they kind of hinted at it and they showed most of the Lantern Corps, but they never, I mean, it didn't get picked back up. So they never got to complete it. But anyway, this is my Red Lantern. And this is the Larfreeze or Orange Lantern Core. This is the Indigo Tribe. And then finally, the Star Sapphires, which I don't know, to me, this Indigo Tribe is kind of blue, and the Star Sapphire is kind of, um, what do you call it, kind of purple, kind of violet, or kind of indigo, so I don't know, I think they changed the colors because they didn't think boys or guys would buy a violet shirt, so they kind of altered the colors a little bit, but whatever. Um, so I still have to get um, the Sinestro Core, yellow, yellow Lanterns, Green Lanterns, and Blue Lanterns. So, uh, and then the Black Lanterns and the White, white Lanterns uh, to complete it. Uh, so I'll do that eventually. Um, then I have this, which is basically I mean, basically, it is. It's a Superman t-shirt. And I got that. And this actually goes with... One second. It goes with these. My Superman Converse. Which 
These are actually a size too small, but my feet can take the pain for a little bit. And then finally, well, and I did this thing for one of our anniversaries because I always told my wife that we were going to be one of those goofy, messed up couples that match, wear matching clothes. So what I did was, um, I got this shirt and then I kind of made a Supergirl shirt. Uh, but the Linda Danvers Supergirl, which is the white with like the black rings around it, except hers is in a half shirt, it's a full shirt. Um, so yeah, she has that, so she can wear that, and I can wear this. Um, and then my other shirt is this, which this is the Superboy shirt. Uh, the, the, the clone of Superman, Connor Kent, or Con, Con L, and I like, I really like that shirt, and I really liked, uh, Superboy, Con, Connor Kent, uh, pre-New 52, rather than the post-New 52, I like the, uh, the other one better, I just, I thought there was a lot of good, um, original ideas that they were doing with him, whereas this one, I haven't read all of them. I kind of stopped after, I think, maybe 10 comics. I don't know, it's kind of confusing what his powers were um, and exactly what he was, which I guess if I would have kept reading, um, I would find out, but it just it wasn't interesting to me. It, not that it just wasn't interesting to me. It's just that, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just stopped following it. I, I plan on picking it back up, but... We'll see. And I did the same thing with uh, the Connor Kit shirt. I um, I tried to find one, but you couldn't find one anywhere. Is I tried to buy another Supergirl, uh, Sir L. Um, she was another Supergirl, and hers was a black shirt. And it wasn't ex exactly like the S shield, but like a big S going down um, in red. And I thought that would be cool to have those two. Superboy and Supergirl, uh, so I kind of made one. It didn't quite turn out right, but I don't know. I tried. I'll, I'll see if I can do it again later on, but those are just my shirts that I really like. Um, I have some more that I'm buying uh, that are kind of another kind of theme, uh, and uh, when I finally get them all, uh, I will make another shirt video that is all love and peace rock and rolling splish and splashing over the horizon what can it be